How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Um, as I said before, this video is going to be about the third day. Uh, the full moon is here. Sukkot is a mere image of Passover. It's a high feast day. Right here. The uh, pilgrimage. There's uh, Sukkot and Passover. They're a mirror image over here. There's uh, three annual pil pilgrimages. But in so Sukkot and Passover are the main ones. Uh, they're a mirror image of each other. Um, Passover's on the full moon. Jesus rose from the dead on the third day. One, two, three. I'm looking at Saturday because this is a Sabbath. As it says in Amos chapter 8, I will turn your feast day into morning. He's trying to get attention of the Jews. That's why it's going to happen on their feast day when they... He's That's Amos chapter 8. I will turn your feast day into morning. Sukkot, as I showed you here, it starts on the 2nd. Second through the ninth, and as I have said, the ninth is a high watch for me also. The eighth and the ninth is high watch, but this is about the third day, which uh, I will go over that in a minute. As you see here, this is Bagley. There was nine asteroids, and then there will be nine asteroids. This was three hours ago. Uh, this is... Uh, Wednesday and this is not even peak this is not even peak of the asteroid season which is the draconids meteor shower which I showed before this is my me this just happened in Indiana th September 30th they're already seeing meteors and this is not even uh, um this is not even, uh, we're not even close to um, the Draconid Meteor Shower, which is right here. It peaks on the 7th and 8th right here. This is a rare occurrence, Draco and the Dragon. It's also uh, in the constellation Drac Draco, which is a, a rare occurrence, which I have said before. Okay, let's get to the third day. Jesus rose from the dead on the third day. Full moon, he died on a full moon, Passover, and he rose on a third day. So, what is that important? As I said in Amos 8, it says talks about your feast days. I will turn their feast days. So I believe that that's going to be done on what they think is a feast day. Not when we think it is. Right here. The marriage on the third day. John 2. And the third day, there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, and the mother of Jesus saith unto him, We are going to have new have no bottles. Wine. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother saith unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone, after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee, and manifested forth his glory. And his disciples believed on him. 
After this, he went down to Capernaum, he and his mother and his brethren and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves, and the changes of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep and the oxen, and poured out the changers' money, and overthrew the tables, and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, make not my father's house, and house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. Then answered the Jews, and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead. So there you go, third day. Also, too, it talks about a wedding and the bridegroom. It talks about raising up on the third day after the full moon. Like I said, this is high watch for me. We're already getting meteor showers. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. That would be, I think the full moon could be tonight. Going into the first, one, two, three. This is high watch for me. So the third and fourth, as I have stated before, and then the eight, seventh and eighth. And as it says in Amos chapter 8, he'll turn your feasts into mourning. That's their feast. Everybody's saying that it could be the 14th, which, you know, it could be. But the fact of the matter is, in Amos 8, it says, I'll turn your feast days into mourning. This is all about getting the Jews' attention. Uh, we're leaving, but yes, but uh, it's about getting their attention. If it's right here, it's not even really a feast day. It's not a feast day or nothing for them. They're not celebrating nothing. They're going to be weeping on their feast day. That's Amos chapter 8. Love you all. I hope you're all doing well. And uh, like I said, I had a hard time sleeping. I figured I'd make this video because uh, I'm excited. I saw this right here about the the, uh, the asteroids and stuff coming. And it's not even close to the Draconid meteor shower. We're a week away. We're a week away from the high peak, and they were already talking about more meteors coming. Love you all, and I hope you're all doing well. Thanks all. Bye.